Jurassic Park as an analog horror is terrifying. Hello there internet dwellers, my name is Baz and welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching three Jurassic Park analog horror videos for your entertainment. We've watched some of these in the past before, not any of the videos that we're going to be watching today, but just Jurassic Park analog horror in general, and some of them were fantastic. I mean, to be fair, most of them we watched, probably all of them we watched, were really, really good. Jurassic Park has this kind of fan base that is super loyal and super creative, and uh, it just goes to show what one person is capable of doing, or well, you know, a, a small team of people is capable of doing and we've got some really good ones for you today so without further ado i'm just going to get straight into the video so the first video we're going to be watching is by dino x86 and it's called jurassic park found footage containment operation analog horror and the description says 08 10 1992 so let's jump straight into this be sure to check out all of the creators down below in the order that i watch them and here we go so captions Yes, there is. I don't know if it's automatic, though. Yes, there is, or yes, there are. I've never been good with past and present tense. Here we go. Let's be honest. Opening a pack full of dinosaurs was probably never... Oh, I like that. That was, that was a nice shot. That was a very cool shot. Was that blood there? That's a pool of blood. Unless it was, like, the muddy water or something. Olivier Padurel. Me, 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 me. Oh, I mean, he did, but the storm was causing interference or something. So this is based a, 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 on the events of the first film, I believe, and I watched the first film quite recently with my housemate. Still holds up today. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and obviously there was a storm, and then they they get stuck out in there, and there's a whole lot of stuff going on. The storm was causing interference or something. You're not supposed to go there. This is against. Frank mm -hmm. is probably in danger. What if the T-Rex escaped its paddock? What if? Huh? Well. Oh my god. Oh, it's definitely escaped. It's going for a freaking stroll, mate. That was going for a Sunday stroll right there. And its meal just arrived. So that's good. That hurts. Oh my goodness. It's still recording. Yeah, thank goodness. Oh, you can hear those sounds around because you know that every sound you're nearly all the sounds you're probably hearing when you're on Jurassic in Jurassic Park is from a dinosaur or maybe just wildlife, but I don't yeah, like birds or something, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. It's time to get out of there, mate. Okay, hang on. So he was on his own? Yeah, he was just talking on the walkie-talkie, right? Oh, wow, okay. Is it true that T-Rex is a uh, hunt based on sound, or is that just a myth? Or whatever. Whatever. I just said whatever. I just said myth. This is pretty freaking cool, man. The fact that like, like an independent person did this all on their own is insane. I'm gonna need that. Yeah, you are. I don't know what it's gonna do though. I mean, you could shoot it up in the air, I guess, and I let your position be known. Containment team. Yeah. I don't know how you'd contain a dinosaur. Um, big ass tranquilizer gun big one like you'd have to shoot it right in it they've got some meaty ass thighs you have to shoot one right in its thigh okay Let's found some shelter this is good was this like an outpost or something it looks abandoned i guess it was the what the 90s yeah is it the 80s 90s Okay, so containment team one oh oh point three containment team. Do you copy? I've made it to the radio station. The mm. T-Rex is out of its paddock. I repeat the T-Rex is out of its paddock. Over. Security. Sam, tell me this is natural. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Over. The Tyrannosaur escaped. I will find Frank at outpost B. Get the helicopter and come to rescue us there. Over. Can't be serious. It's too dangerous. How do we know if you make it there? Over. 
can't think about that right now. I have a flare gun. I will shoot ah, a flare as soon as I meet Frank. Over. This is a very fucked up idea. Well, it's a very you fucked up situation, you. isn't it? Good luck out there. Over and out. Over and out. Bravo. So now he's got to make his way over to... Whilst being chased by a T-Rex. Or stalked. Oh, God. It's really not looking good for you, mate. But that's basically what happened in the first Jurassic Park. They all had to get back to the main area. Oh, thank God. You scared me. I thought you were... Something's going to... So that's a herbivore, right? There's I another... Right post B. Never mind. Wow. Yeah, they've got nothing to worry about. I'm sure you could still get trampled, but what was that? A Spinosaurus? I don't really know my dinosaurs. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no. What happened? Oh, there's big dinosaur. Oh yeah, there's there's big prints there. Nice. Oh, I mean, yeah, that that's going to really alert everything to your immediate environment, isn't it really? So, it's basically just saying free buffet here. Here we go. Hopefully someone's... Oh, fuck. oh, oh fuck. my oh, no. god. That is so unfortunate. No, 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 no. In any of the circumstances, right, that would have been a good shot. And it still was, but you really messed up. Yeah, you're dead, mate. I wouldn't go high. I'd go low. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at this thing. <laughs> okay. Is it being eaten? What's happening? Oh, it's being carried. Okay. Oh, nice little bit of uh, integration there. Go on, shoot it. With a rocket launcher. Right down the mouth. Godzilla-esque. Oh, okay. It's distracting it. Interesting. God, I'd hate to be the helicopter pilot here. It's got short arms, though, so, you know, it won't be able to really do much. What happened? Did it shoot it? Oh, huh. okay. Well, there we go. That was one, one heck of an intro to this kind of video. Oh, it's a Stegosaurus. Sorry, guys, it's a Stegosaurus, I think. Not, a, not a, what's a Spinosaurus? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a Spinosaurus. That's very different to what I saw. So yeah, it was a Stegosaurus. Well, there we go, guys. That was Dino X86. Very good start to this. Go check them out. Leave a like, rate, and all that good stuff. We're going to move on to the next video. The next video is by Kurt Balsamen. I think that's how you say the name. Sorry if I'm butchering that. It's called Quarantine Pen Escape Jurassic Park Analog Horror. There's no description for this one, so let's just jump straight in. Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> okay. You know, this is a uh, this is David Attenborough's brother. For those who don't know, Richard Attenborough. So when where Dave went down the uh, you know the the animal route, I mean his brother kind of did the same thing, but with dinosaurs. So. So this is part of the film, the first film, right? Yeah. It's just a terrible idea. Carnivores. Not just as angry, just such as the T-Rex. The raptors. Man-eating. Man-eating. Yeah, the raptors. <laughs> Man-eating. <laughs> okay, well, someone definitely got eaten there. Man-eating. We get it. Man-eating. Come on now. Okay, so this is going to be... This is Edward Regis, public relations manager. I've been assigned to look after Dr. Harding's 14-year-old daughter for a couple of... What? Days now. And this morning, Mr. Hammond also asked me to babysit his two grandchildren. It's just some kind of sick joke. I didn't sign up to work here as a caregiver. Anyways, Park Ranger Marco and I were tasked with picking up the two kids from the East Dock. 
God, that's how quickly you got to read. Interesting. So they've spliced. Unless this is... Is this from the film? Unless this is where they filmed. We dropped the kids at the visitor center. Then we went to the Safari Lodge to store... Okay. Oh, okay. No, this is... This is... Oh, this feels more like a video game. It's kind of got that video game vibe to it, but I'm, which I'm guessing it probably is. If they just added a bit of shake to the like the camera, like the movements, then it would have been a lot more realistic. But it's so static and forward, and the way that the cameras, it's not very natural looking. It's very video game esque. Still, we can enjoy this. I couldn't make something like this. Tour surveillance. Vehicle check in progress. Tour initiated. Okay, so these are the cars that are on the electric lines, right? That are powered, like, automatically. Like a tram. Mr. Arnold had called for a general evacuation of the island requiring non-essential... I don't know how fast you expect us to read, but my god. Hang on, let's go back and see how fast I've had to read. Mr. Arnold had called for a general evacuation of the island requiring non-essential personnel to leave him via the... However, as we were on our way to the last ship to the mainland, Marco would remain longer. Apparently, Dr. Sorkin needed him to have a little precautionary... I can't do that. I decided to go with him. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like this. Marco hey, way, and um, Edward. Where are those quarantine tents exactly? Over. Just follow me. We're almost there. It's near the storage facility. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I see. What are they keeping in those tents anyway? Raptors, uh, right? Uh, Dr. Sorkin told me they're brand new. I don't know why you would breed raptors at all in an environment that children could go like it just seems like an absolute disaster from the get-go i don't know I don't, I don't know how how did anyone agree to it but i guess that's what the whole point of the first film is right they bring in like uh paleontologists to basically survey and see if it's a good idea to do and they basically need their vote in order for the, the pack to go public or something like that and it just goes to shit doesn't it day one day one Okay. Yeah, it's not a very good idea at all. Like, I, I, I'm no expert, obviously, on dinosaurs, but I know that some freaking predatorial prehistoric animal, like a raptor, is not a good idea to be mixed in with the general public. Unarmed. Perimeter shutdown. Major malfunction. So this was when the guy was uh, basically selling the eggs or whatever onto like the next big buyer and he shut down the whole freaking security system, right? Slow pans. Is there going to be something there? Hey, uh, it's all good here. What about you? Everything seems to be clear. Although Man. the fence lights are off. That's not good. Does that mean that there's not electrical anymore? <laughs> okay, that guy's dead.
We managed to find a place to hide. However, it followed us. It follows. <laughs> Man, look at the way it stood. It's just stood there like it's just shit the bed and it's waiting for its mum to tidy it up. Wow, this is really cool. Is this from the film? Or is this... Huh, interesting. I think we're safe now. Oh no, this is pretty cool. Okay. Wow, nice. That guy's dead. Straight up. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> just see him get out and just attacked by a raptor. Ah! Informant contracts released Jurassic Park of the Engine Corporation for many and all liability related to accidental injury, death, or disease sustained during your time on Eastland New Block. Okay, brilliant stuff. There we go. It's very nice. I think the only thing that kind of threw me off there was like, you could kind of tell that it was, oh, I don't know, was that from the game? Was that, there is a Jurassic Park game, right? Um, was that that just added in from the game? I'm guessing it was. See, I'm, I'm very kind of not, I won't say ignorant, but I just don't know what I don't know. So therefore I, I, I'm unsure what, what was actually exists as a game or a film and what doesn't. Because I haven't watched all of the Jurassic Parks. Other than that, that was really, really good. We're moving on now to the last video, guys. This video is by JPS Jurassic Park Security. It's called Spinosaurus Incident Lysine Experiment 02 Jurassic VHS Analog Horror. VHS security footage from the second Lysine Contingency Experiment performed on Spinosaurus from July 7th, 1992 on Isla Sauna, Costa Rica. I have held on to this Jurassic Park footage for too long, and now it's time for people to know the truth about Dr. Wu's Lysine Contingency Security Solution. This was not only traumatic for the dinos, but for our team security as well. Wow, security teams. I don't know why I said team security. What's going on? Hello? Sworn to secrecy. R.I.P. Murto. You were one of the good ones, brother. These people will pay for what they made us do. We never signed up for this. Neither did the Spinosaurus. Last video, guys. Let's just jump right in. Murto tapes. Okay. Test subject 004. Spino. Cool. 7792. See, I like found footage based in like uh, the analog era because it's easy to hide any kind of mistakes because you can just put a filter over the top and it makes it, it blends it all together and it makes it look realistic. Return to HQ for resupply. Okay. Site B, night mission, still searching for Spino. And a Spinosaurus is predatorial, right? Like it's a, it's a, is it a predator? Carnivore? Damn, this guy has got the most steady body cam ever. Why don't they give this to police officers? Just a nice stable cam there. First Spino sighting, normal temperament. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. That's why the long face. <laughs> uh, so we followed it to evaluate behavior. Oh, final moments. Okay, here we go. He was, he was trying to stalk a Spinosaurus. He was trying to stalk the alpha male, the Sigma. It's behind him, isn't it? Uh, guys? <laughs> Uh, so stupid. Motor is unreachable by 12.05. Well, you can hear that coming a mile off. Okay, well, that guy's dead. Let's be honest. I don't know. Is it behind him? <laughs> Is that him screaming? <laughs> I'll just scream really loud and hope it works. Oh, I like the camera movement. It's pretty good. 
Now, ever since that, like, body cam footage unrecord came out, there's been a lot of games trying to replicate it with horror, and I think that it, that worked perfectly. Like, that style of um, display works really well for horror. Like, found footage. That's the thing. Outlast is one of the one of the best horror games. Well, it's a good horror game. It was found footage. I just feel like found footage is just more personal and more realistic. Oh, dear. Okay. See the way he looked at him? Like he just opened up a pack of gum in class. <laughs> oh, what a horrible sound. Yay! Well, there we go, guys. That was JPS Jurassic Park Security. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Like I said, all the creators that I watch will be linked in the order that I watch them in the description down below. Watch alongside me. I'll put the video alongside the creators or just watch it in your free time. You know, it's all up to you, but be sure you check them out. It's, you don't know, you don't understand how helpful it is if you just go watch the videos for yourself and just like and comment and stuff. It boosts them in the algorithm and it's just overall really good. And that reminds me if you enjoyed this video leave a like rate and subscribe comment tell me your best bit or what you think about jurassic park in general if uh in honesty i've said this before if this was released like jurassic park was released as a found footage because it's already a good film don't get me wrong like a good wow the first three original are apparently are the, the better ones the the newest ones not so much so anyway, practical effects and cgi i'm on a i'm on a rant i'm on a i'm going on a tangent here but yeah just tell me what you think I would really prefer it in this like kind of found footage style. I don't know that you can mix in CGI and practical in a good way uh, and still have it be good. Um, but I feel like too much CGI really just throws you out of it. I'm going to stop rambling now. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.